There is a real sculpture in front of you. This is a laptop made in a collaboration with the famous 3D artist Martin Verhoeven. This is the MSI Pulse GL76. And it even has a lifelike figure, which could be kind of scary. But this is how MSI exhibits the full power of this model. Surprisingly, even though it comes with a 17.3 inch display, the MSI Pulse GL76 is both thinner and lighter than the Dell G15 5511, a 15-inch notebook. In addition, its lid and body are very stiff with almost zero flex when we try twisting them. Now the keyboard is a bit of a let down. Yes, it has an RGB backlight and an upper pad, but the key travel is short while the feedback is softer than what would be appropriate for a gaming machine. Weirdly, the otherwise small touchpad is very comfortable for use and bolts well with the fast refresh rate of the panel. There are four USB ports, three of which are full-sized and one is of the smaller Type-C type. One of the full-sized ports is from the outdated 2.0 generation, while the other three are 3.2 generation 1. The HDMI is version 2.0, which means that it can pass 4K picture at 60Hz. Inside the machine we find two SATIM slots, which fit up to 64GB of DDR4 RAM in total. For storage you get two M.2 PCIe X4 slots, which are Gen 4 compatible. Check out our disassembly video so you can see how to open it yourself. Pulse GL76 can be bought with one of two full HD IPS display variants with different refresh rates 144 or 360 Hz. We decided to take the latter, which turned out to be surprisingly good. It is made by Sharp, and in addition to the ultra fast response time of the pixels, it has high maximum brightness and good contrast ratio. It covers the sRGB color gamut almost fully and has professional grade color accuracy when paired with our design and gaming profile, which you will find in the description below the video. Also, there is no harmful PWM usage for all brightness levels. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. We are not impressed by the battery life of Pulse GL76, although it's more than 20% longer than its predecessor. This is due to its limited capacity of just 53.5 Watt hours. However, you can order a configuration with a bigger 90 Watt hours unit. Otherwise, there'll be just some empty space next to the battery, which can't be used for mounting a 2.5 inch SATA drive just a wasted space. You can get this machine with Core i5-12500H, Core i7-12700H or Core i9-12900H. We chose the middle option, which should be powerful enough for gaming. Actually, not just for gaming. Even through long 100% loads as video rendering, the CPU manages to keep its frequencies high and its temperature decent. We are very happy with these results. Graphics-wise, we found the device equipped with the RTX 3060, RTX 3070 and RTX 3070 Ti, all coming with 105 Watt TGP. We decided to try the budget option. Looks like it's enough to play the shadow of the Tomb Raider at the highest settings with about 60 FPS on average. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands runs with the same FPS at ultra settings. Again, we see a huge improvement over last year. Now the RTX 3060 does run with 20 watts more power and sits about 6 degrees Celsius cooler. Enabling cooler boost has a huge impact on the temperatures, where the GPU gets cooler by 11 degrees Celsius. 
Although the cooling has been improved, the heat on the outside is almost unbearable. It might not be super clear on the IR image, but the reading shows 57 degrees Celsius. This is plain hot to the touch. MSI Pulse GL76 has a lot of advantages. Two M.2 slots with Gen 4 support, 144 or 360Hz display options, Alder Lake CPUs and bump TGP for all graphics cards. Now there are some things that can put you off. For example, the keyboard is really not up there for gaming. It is a bit mushy and the key travel is short. Also, it gets really toasty while you are playing intensive games. Use Cooler Boost, where possible, and get yourself a good pair of headphones. On the other hand, the new Pulse GL76 is built like a tank, and its price tag is really appetizing. So we'd say, if you find it on sale, go for it. If you want to see more tests and details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.